What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with another Brocon battle video. And I call it Brocon because well, it's still broken. It's still broken. Now, I did uh, drop a video the other day talking about when I think it's going to be fixed, and I do in my heart of hearts feel like they're going to fix it for say a day, but we still don't have, you know, anything in here that you'd really want to run on the weekends. It's still lacking content. From a, by a huge mark, and as a content creator, it breaks my heart because I've been grinding link levels so that I could do some showcases for you guys, and it just, it's not working, there's not, nothing I can really do, I will show you guys one actually really cool thing, and uh, I actually didn't know about this, uh, uh, Mass Negan's the one who actually showed this one to me, but um, I'll do one thing here and it'll be kind of cool, so you notice that my rank is pretty high, um, I'm about to level up, but I've got almost completely full stamina. Well, if I go down here and I go to uh, grind some of the link levels that I've been grinding, I'm not going to do boosts. I'm just going to go into here, grab whoever I grab, and I'm link leveling this team a little bit. So, yes, yeah, so some of these units aren't completely maxed out yet. I'm really bad about it. So let's talk about compensation, because you guys saw the title of the video. And I think that is the number one thing people are most concerned about when it comes to the current state of Dokkan Battle, because realistically, like, they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to do something. And the usual answer of, uh, oh, have a couple of Dragonstones, isn't going to isn't gonna cut it. There's a lot of players right now that are very angry. Um, I mean, this is arguably, and I'd like to get your, inf your input in the comments section down below, because I am planning a video on this. Is this the most broken any version of Dokkan has ever been. Is this literally the worst possible, I say not possible, but the worst thing that we've been through, like consider the Kefla banner, which was pretty huge. Uh, consider the mess up earlier this year with the step up banner. Hell, if you guys remember TBA to be announced, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. And their answer to it was pretty abysmal too. So do you feel like this is the worst situation we've ever been in as Dokkan players on either version, Global or JP? Or do you think there's maybe even some situations worse? Let me know in the comments section. That's be a really good discussion to have. And I've got a video planned on it. Uh, so maybe some of you guys' comments will get uh, will get shout outs in the video. Who knows? But more to the point and kind of why I'm making this video today is I want to talk about what a reasonable a, a s compensation for this issue would be and kind of the only thing i can really base this on are the other games that we play of course you guys some of you guys play damachi memoria freeze with us and we recently had a situation where the big pvp event kind of similar to uh kind of similar to the world tournament but not really um but it's like the closest in vain to that that i can think of except ours happens like every other week um normally normally it's all ranked and you get blah 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 and when it broke and when we weren't actually able to run it, the devs were just like, everybody gets first place rewards. Everybody gets first place rewards. So we can't do World Tournament right now. But I just don't see Akatsuki. In fact, we know they're not going to give everybody first place rewards because they've rescheduled the whole tournament. The entire tournament's been rescheduled to late April. And I know a lot of people have been saying, oh my god, they're not going to fix it to late April. No. April 23rd is not when they're going to fix the game, guys. There's a data download coming this week for Saiyan Day. They will 99.9% .9 sure they're going to have a fix for Saiyan Day. If they don't, you could pretty much say that Akatsuki legit just doesn't care. And I know we joke about Global Shaft and all this stuff, but I, as much as we, we can troll and say, oh, 300 stones, Global Shaft, blah, 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 realistically... They're going to have to have it fixed. They've, they've got to. If not, that's that's a, really the end of the game. Like, I won't say everybody's going to stop playing it. I won't. But a lot of people will. Millions of people will stop playing if Saiyan Day is that badly broken. And Akatsuki knows this. The reason they're not saying anything right now, the reason they're so quiet, is because they're probably working on some kind of crazy emergency fix. They they know that come Monday, when Dokkan Now is there, they're going to have to make an announcement. If not on Dokkan Now, they're going to have to make an announcement in-game or something. There's going to have to be some kind of notification that lets us know, Hey, 
we're aware of the situation and we're taking care of it. Because if they don't, then it just kind of shows us they truly don't care. So that would be the first situation where I'd be like, truly, it's not just a meme. That is a definite global shaft. So there's going to have to be something in-game during the the stream. Something that identifies that they're working towards a resolution. But like I said, Saiyan Day is going to bring something to it. So let's get back to compensation here. So I think we can pretty much kiss off first first place rewards for everybody else uh, in the world tournament. Like Even if they gave us that many dragon stones just alone, I think most people would be pretty sated. But there are people right now that are like, you know, 30 stones, 50 stones, whatever, is not enough. And I kind of understand it, though I feel like that's maybe getting a bit extreme. Um, Akatsuki's never been a good one for uh, compensation. They've always been really stingy with Dragonstones. Like, when we had maintenance that was like, what, a day and people couldn't log in? They gave just enough stones to cover the login bonuses? And like, maybe five on top of that? It's like okay congratulations i got my login stones i didn't get the daily stones that i could pay for like I, if i wanted to drop that dollar i didn't get those stones um and then like you gave me just enough on top of it to do a single summon thanks your game was down for an entire day and you're like have a single summon doesn't sound really all that great when you think about it that way it, it really just, it really just bugs me on a very personal level that they just don't ever seem to give us good compensation for problems. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to sit here and say they should give us 300 stones. I don't think that's realistic. I don't, in my heart of hearts, would I like it? Yes. But the game's never been that free to play friendly ever, ever. Uh, that was supposed to be purple or whatever. Doesn't matter. It base the base deck will do the job. So realistically and honestly, I'm thinking 50 stones. Absolutely at maximum at best. And bear in mind, they're gonna drop all this when they drop Saiyan Day, when they drop uh whatever new levels we get. Like I said the other day, I fully expect that we're gonna get our new extreme SBR stages. I figure there there's gonna be new extreme SBRs on JP as well. There's gonna be something. So, and on top of that, it is worth noting that Global does get treated very fairly in the ultimate realm of things, because when it comes to Sadie, when it comes to events like that, we will probably get discounted, uh, a, at least the first summon discounted or something like that, we'll get some kind of discount that JP just simply doesn't get. JP just doesn't get those things. So, probably, if I'm honest, what they're going to do, and realistically speaking, they're going to discount the first multi 30 stones, and then they're going to give us 30 stones to do the first multi with. That's the, realistically what I'm willing to wager they're going to do. Um, but once again, if I had to compare it to other games, most of the devs at this point would be scrambling. I mean, losing their minds just to get people to continue playing the game. Because this is hurt playership, I, 100%. I promise you, people. some people are probably uninstalled. There's those people that are going to be mad and completely uninstalled. There's going to be some people that are just going to shelve the game for a week or two until it's fixed. They'll come back for Saiyan Day. But it might affect the way they see the game going forward. They might, they might stop playing. I'm not going to say that this is going to be a huge resounding chunk of the fandom, but... You got to be realistic. This is going to affect people's perception of the game. You're literally just moving people into playing Legends because let's face it, they're going to play some Dragon Ball property. All right, so here's the kind of the interesting thing I was going to show you guys. So we got some link levels here. Not a crazy sum, but we got some good levels up. If I go out here, abandon quest. Because if I finish this, then I've got all that stamina that literally is just going to go to waste. I will be able to keep all of my link levels just by doing this, and then I can go back in and do it all over again. It's pretty hype. Uh, just a little side note there, just because some of the garbage I'm doing on the side to do some link leveling. But neither here nor there. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think is a reasonable amount we can expect? I made a community tab post about this, and most people said 300 stones. And I don't think that's realistic. I really don't think that's realistic. I would love it. I would absolutely adore it. But realistically, realistically, honestly... I wouldn't expect 100 stones. 
I would expect 50 at absolute most, and probably just enough to do whatever the first discounted multi is on, uh, on the banners that are coming next week. That's my honest, true opinion. We're five days away from Saiyan Day, and I, it, the game is most likely not going to be repaired in that amount of time. I really think that's the best we can sort of hope for. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Um, maybe that's a little pessimistic, but I think it's honestly realistic. So, this video, guys, like, comment, share. I've got a real fun one. If I can pull it off tomorrow, a real fun one. So make sure you subscribe. Stay up to date with that. Uh, maybe some familiar voices you are used to, but not on this channel. Maybe I'll see you guys then.